All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with another WWE tier ranking. Kind of a quicker one this time. We have the WWE pay-per-views of 2008. One of my favorite years for pay-per-views, so I said, fuck it, why not? So, starting off with the Royal Rumble. This is, if we're just doing for 2008, this pay-per-view is up there. I'm going to put this at an A. You know, this is... One of those pay-per-views that you look back fondly on. You have Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton, good WWE title match. You have Rey Mysterio and Edge in the World Heavyweight title match. And uh, you have that Madison Square Garden feel to it, which always adds to a pay-per-view. So I really enjoyed Royal Rumble. Um, to me, that's an A pay-per-view. Uh, I really would put it up there. Um... We might not see a D pay-per-view. We might not see an S pay-per-view. This is literally just judging them off of um, how they are as pay-per-views. So, No Way Out, I would put in... I would say that's a solid B-tier pay-per-view. You have two good chamber matches. The SmackDown one, you have The Undertaker winning, and then you have Triple H for the Raw one. You know, I think they're both... Uh, you know, solidable matches. You have John Cena and Randy Orton. You know, that's a decent little match heading into WrestleMania. You have an injured Rey Mysterio versus Edge. So, uh, you of course have the Floyd Mayweather segment with Big Show. Overall, I think this is a B-tier pay-per-view. I, I really enjoy it. So, WrestleMania 24. Where would I rank that? Hmm. I'm going to say... I'm going to say it's a low A. Mm. Yeah, no, we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it above Rumble. So, yeah, it's an A. You know, it might be a low A, because I still, I put WrestleMania and Rumble as low A's, personally. But, um, you know, we'll see. I don't know if anything's going to be above that, but we'll, we'll get there. WrestleMania... And the Citrus Bowl, yeah, a Camping World Stadium, whichever you want to call it nowadays. But you had Edge and Undertaker in a great main event. You had um, the Triple Threat WWE title match, which was good. It was serviceable. The lights went out, so that was funny. We had a really good Money in the Bank ladder match. You, of course, have um, the retirement of Ric Flair, uh, his match against Shawn Michaels. You know, very memorable moment. And overall, this is just, to me, a phenomenal WrestleMania. Backlash. I'm going to put this in C tier right now. We had Big Show versus The Great Khali. That should show you where we're at right now. Um, we also had Edge and Undertaker again. You had the four-way match for the WWE title. Um, they added JBL in there. Triple H ended up winning. This was an elimination. You know, this was a... F it was fine. You had Shawn Michaels and Batista with Chris Jericho as the referee. You know, it it's a decent pay-per-view for what it was. Judgment Day, I'm going to put... I'll put C tier. You know, not much to write home about. You had Randy Orton and Triple H. You had Undertaker and Edge once again. You know, adding to their rivalry... Um, we had Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho in the first of their series. So, this very much felt like a pay-per-view to get to the next one. It's a filler. It's a continuation pay-per-view. It's Judgment Day. Judgment Day is not really going to ever, you know, blow your pants off. I don't know why I chose that analogy, but I did. Fuck it. One Night Stand. I'm actually going to put High B. I, I really enjoy this pay-per-view. Uh, we had Undertaker and Edge in the TLC match. You had Jeff Hardy and Umaga in a great uh, Falls Count Anywhere match. You have JBL and Cena. That was all right. The Singapore Kane match I thought was great. Um, you know, just classic violence at its finest. So, yeah, Triple H and Randy Orton, good last man standing. So, yeah, I really liked it. Night of Champions. I'm going to put this a very low B. So, you know, it's a match, or a match, it's a pay-per-view of singles matches, you have the triple threat match in there, but 
you know, nothing extreme here, no stipulations. This is purely, you know, all the titles are on the line. Um, so deal with it, basically. And this was right after the the draft of 2008, which, if you remember the 2008 draft, it really shifted things around. No announced teams. We had, you know, two world tight or um, two world titles at one point was on um, one of the shows. I think SmackDown. So they had to get rid of one of those. Uh, we had John Cena and Triple H. Um, their WrestleMania 23 match. It finally happened. So yeah, they pushed that one back to Night of Champions. What a discount. Um, but yeah, it, it's a serviceable, uh, serviceable, I cannot talk, serviceable pay-per-view, Jesus Christ. Great American Bash, I'll put that high C, it's fine, you know, you have CM Punk and Batista, you have, uh, John Cena and JBL in the parking lot brawl, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, I think this is more memorable for Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels in the final legal blade job for WWE. So there you go. This was the final TV14 pay-per-view, which leads us to SummerSlam. I'm going to put this A tier. Um, SummerSlam 2008, I thought was great. You had Undertaker and Edge in a great Hell in a Cell match. And that was the first PG Hell in a Cell match, so... That one really could have stunk, but it didn't. They made it work really well. Um, CM Punk and JBL was decent. Great Collie and Triple H. I mean, come on. Who, who really wants to see that? But, yeah, overall, really good SummerSlam. I, I enjoyed it. Unforgiven. Um, boy. I'm going to put this one right here. Before Great American Bash. It's alright. That... You, this was the Mike Adamley era where he was Raw GM and he made all of those scramble matches. Scramble matches, I thought they were fine for one night only, so it it's fine. I, I thought they worked. Brian Kendrick was WWE champion for like two minutes, so there you go. You also had Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho in the unsanctioned match, so there you go. No Mercy, this was a surprisingly great pay-per-view. I'm going to put it right here, right behind WrestleMania. This was great. You had Triple H and Jeff Hardy, that was uh, really good. You had the ladder match with Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels, which is just a 2008 classic. So yeah, really good, um, really good pay-per-view. Cyber Sunday. Hmm. That I'm going to put very low B. I mean, the good news is we don't have any D-tier pay-per-views yet. We also don't have any S-tier, so it is what it is, I guess. But, yeah, where were we? Cyber Sunday, yeah, forgettable one. You had a giant Blackberry as your stage, so that's memorable, I guess. Um, yeah, it was basically Taboo Tuesday. You had Chris Jericho and Batista for the world title, you know. This was the final time we had this vote. You could vote with AT&T or WWE.com. Overall, very bland show. We had some legends returning for the IC title match, but really nothing to write home about there. Alright, Survivor Series. Kind of a disappointing pay-per-view to me. I'm going to put her right, right there. Yeah, this was the big uh, story here was John Cena returning, um, beating Chris Jericho, and that that's really all this is remembered for. You of course had Undertaker and Big Show. Their whole rivalry was forgettable. I think the elimination match, um, you know, forgettable. Just a very forgettable show. It was in Boston. It was going to be John Cena's moment. So yeah, very predictable pay-per-view. And then Armageddon. I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that in B tier. You know, this was a good pay-per-view. This um this really culminated the Jeff Hardy story. Of course he won the WWE belt that night. 
um, yeah, that culminated what felt like it was years of storytelling, especially 2008. It, you know, this was leading up to that big title win, so there you go. You have that big feel-good moment. The rest, you know, average to good, very forgettable, but that big feel-good moment for Armageddon, there you go. But definitely let me know your thoughts on this ranking um, down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this. For now, peace out.